anything with a 2014 Toyota Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. And welcome to Foothill Thunder on Foothill 7 Television, brought to you by Toyota. We're at the seventh championship point race here at Placerville Speedway, brought to you by the Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. It's the final point race before the break for the El Dorado County Fair. Hot temperatures tonight, some great racing on tap with a track that's sure to become dry slick, a track that the racers generally like like that. 22 sprint cars on hand, 12 late models, 13 pure stocks, and 16 visiting midget lights in the Bay Cities Racing Association. So four divisions, a great night of racing ahead. Every fan here tonight coming in the gates and benefited the Boys and Girls Club of El Dorado County as a portion of tonight's ticket sales benefiting that local charity as they're working to build a new facility, and that's the first of three benefit races for the Boys and Girls Club of El Dorado County. So stay tuned. We're going to bring you all the action here from the seventh championship point race on Foothill Thunder, brought to you by Toyota. And trouble in turns one and two already. Looks like Van Roko has lost a rear wheel. Yeah. That'll slow you down. So the yellow flag is out. And traffic jam turns one and two. Things get busy fast as Ryan McDaniel takes the early lead. England for that second place position. McKelly will look down low. England's got the momentum running up on the high side. And trouble in turns one and two. We got the 22, Dominic Stone. He spun around. He gets joined by the 23 of Tyler Lightfoot. Yellow flag is out. So yellow flag flies for the 20, 33 of Don Schwartz and the 23 of Tyler Lightfoot. McDaniel working that middle line of the track. Dives it back down lower as you see in turns one and two. And just keeping that momentum as he does well. Trimble slowly closing in on your leader though. Seems to be the only driver here tonight that may have something for McDaniel when it comes down to the final laps. We're 12 laps into this 20 lap event. White flag is out. Final set of turns for Ryan McDaniel to put it in the book here tonight. Win number three for the driver from all of hers that wins all over the region. Ryan McDaniel puts it in the book and he'll bring him across the line with Ray Trimble finishing in second place. Third place going to the 86 of Matt McKelly tonight. Ryan McDaniel win number three, I believe, on the year. And you had a good starting spot tonight. I think Tom Tilford was joking around, find some money to get you start in the back tonight. But what a great show. And, and Ray Trimble, he got pretty close to there for a while. I know you help a lot of these guys, so you want them to compete with you. And a good show to put on, but great job. Yeah, I, uh, there, we had such a short time to try to get the car ready because there wasn't a B main. The car, when I went out, it was already almost 200 degrees on the temperature. And so uh, the whole race, it ran 210, 220, and it didn't make a lot of power like it should have. And you needed power for the bottom of the racetrack here. And there towards the end with all those yellows we had, it, it lost a lot of power. And so I was just trying to hang on to what I had. And so um, I have to thank all my sponsors. Domco Plumbing has been a big supporter for me this whole year. And without him, I wouldn't be able to come here every week. Um, Schwartz Diesel, Icon Race Pistons, um, McDaniel Motorsports, Farm Farms. There's a lot of people that make this happen that, that don't get a lot of recognition. All right, congratulations. We'll see you back here in a few weeks. I'm sure doing a pretty good job of trying to run the full year, but always good to see you, man.
green as Bradley Dillard sets the pace out in front once again. We've got a lap in the book. Dillard stretching his lead out early in this one. Nine laps in the book, almost halfway home as Diller continues to lead. He'll lead at the halfway mark this time by. Sixteen in the book, four to go as Bradley Dillard works his way into lap traffic. Logan CV running in the second position over Marcus Smith, Hunter Kinney, and Craig Dillard. And there's the checker. Bradley Dillard picks up the win. Logan CV in second place, followed by Marcus Smith, Hunter Kinney, Craig Dillard, Brian Corso, Steve Brown, Terry Bertram, Chris Hansen, and Stuart Goring will round out the top 10. We keep meeting here in Victory Lane, and that's definitely where you want to meet. Good starting spot tonight, led start to finish, and a really good show for you guys. Yeah, I could uh, hear him behind me, and I didn't really think anything of it until uh, I got back in the pits and everybody was telling me that Logan CV was catching me and uh, rolling the top, and I was like, how is he doing that? But it was a good night. It was fun. He was rolling the top and definitely working his way up there. You had a pretty distant lead there for quite a while, and he's definitely a new driver in your division. He's going to give you a run probably eventually. Well, we always need someone to give someone a run for their money. Exactly. Great to see you. We see you guys back here in a few weeks here at Placerville. Bradley Dillard, winner in your midget lights. Welcome to No Man's Land. It's a place you've been before, but it's not on any map. So go out there, lose yourself, and find the truth. We're all born wild. Let's keep it that way. The 2014 Forerunner. Toyota. Let's go places. Hi, I'm Kent Brown, professional bass angler and the host of the Ultimate Bass Radio Show. Thompson's Toyota here in Placerville, they understand the outdoorsman. They have a full selection of Tundras, Tacomas, Sequoias. Stop by and visit them, 140 Forty Road, up here in Placerville, or you can buy it right online at thompsonstoyota.com. Thompson's Toyota and Thompson's Auto and Truck Centers have been my choice for my vehicles for over 20 years. Let them put you in one and get you on the water. John Durrett putting the moves on Dan Brown Jr. Good battle for the lead. As they just raid a little bit of paint friendly rivalry there, Durrett will take the lead. Brown's going to keep battling, keep digging for that lead. Durrett running the higher line, Brown down low. Equally matched machines out there. And Durrett's getting a little bit of a run up on the high side. He's gaining that momentum. Meanwhile, that Brown's getting that extra traction down there, so they're just well matched. But now, Looks like Brown's got a flat tire in the 23. Tough break for Dan Brown Jr. Trouble for Mack as he spins in turn two, gets collected, yellow flags out. Looks like the incident got cleared, however. Six laps to go. Durrett continues to rule. 
Leonard off the track surface, fades back to the fourth position. And he's got a traffic jam behind him. That gives Durrett a little bit of breathing room as Leonard was one of the drivers closely moving in on him. John Durrett stretching his lead out considerably now. He's going to see the white flag right here. One lap to go. The driver from Pollock Pines to put the 0-1-D, as they like to call it, old in victory lane for the first time this season. The two brother-in-laws teaming up in this car, changing alternate duties, and Durrett puts it in victory lane for the first time of the season here tonight. 59. Uh, Bruner in second place. John Durrett, great job, congratulations. And Kevin and I were talking earlier tonight, and you guys are just excited to be back here, and you guys make it exciting. I mean, what a great race tonight, and what a great concept, too. <laughs> yeah, we're, ha we're having a lot of fun with the car and coming out, and it's nice to be competitive and get a lot of help from family, you know. So. Were you thinking Dan Brown Jr. running up there for a while? You guys were going to have a run to the end if you hadn't got that flat tire, and I'm, undoubtedly, I'm sure, from your viewpoint, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was that was going to be uh, pretty tight. We're uh, we're still learning the car a little bit, so we were loose in one and two, and um, got a little better as we g went on. So it would have been good. So, all right, congratulations. And we got trouble early, turns one and two. Looks like it's one of the two Butler brothers and the 93 of Ingraham, I believe. And Butler up and out of there, making sure his counterpart okay after the collision as they got together. Appears to be the 57B Bobby Butler, the third generation of the group. His family raced asphalt for many years in the mainly in Roseville All American Speedway. Billy Butler coming to dirt about three years ago. Bobby moving to dirt late last season, and both of them doing a great job. Okay, back to green. Truly sets the pace. Everybody gets through the first lap. It appears as Jimmy truly leads lap number one. One in the book. Sweeney running in second, followed by Morgan, Gavin, Andy Forsberg, Andy Craig. Here comes Jake Morgan. He's looking to the outside of James Sweeney, battling for that second place position. Gavin in the fourth spot. Andy Forsberg rounding out the top five. Three laps going in the book this time by. And Forsberg to the inside of Geving. They bang wheels. Andy Forsberg moves into fourth place. Andy Gregg's working the high line now. And Gregg into the turn four wall. Andy Forsberg battling your lead. It goes to the outside, turns one and two. Forsberg gives it a look, but truly's got that momentum down low right now. 16 laps complete. 17 in the book. Truly comes up on heavy lap traffic now. The laps are winding down. White flag is out. And truly, final turn, final time. Forsberg win it or wear out of turn four. And Forsberg steals the win. And race fans, here he is for the second time. Andy Forsberg with the win here tonight. And what a race you put on. You and Jimmy truly always have a good, you always have a good battle out there. And it's always tough here when you beat one of the local guys with one of the biggest cheering crews, but they loved it up there, man. What a great two weeks for you. You've had a tremendous two weeks. When we were talking to the pit area after last week, that was your momentum builder right there.
Well, I don't know about momentum or not, because it seems like every time I think I'm going to get the ball rolling, something happens with another car. So last night we struggled. We had engine issues. Tonight, all our ducks were in a row, and the next one was in victory lane. Hats off to Jimmy. I'm sorry, Placerville, but I had to do what you got to do, and I had to win that sucker. I love Jimmy truly just as much as the next guy, but uh, we're here to win races. That was awesome. Last lap. I didn't want to break his heart like that, but um, I've had my heart broken on the last lap, so you just got to do what you got to do. Thank you all for coming out. You guys sit through the cold. You sit through the hot weather. Thank you very much for supporting Placerville. Next week's a fair. Don't come. Go to the fair, but don't come to the races. Don't forget, we'll be back here in two weeks. So the Fawns pays off tonight. You can credit this one to the, your classic name, the Fawns, up there, right? Upstairs where Fonzie used to live in Happy Days. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the only thing I could do. The bottom was really good, choppy, chunky. Crap was flo fl uh, flying through the car. And, uh, but Jimmy was around the bottom, so I do the opposite. If he was around the top, I would run the bottom. So lap traffic kind of dictates what you do and don't do. We were in heavy lap traffic. The caution didn't come out, which would have put him in clean air, which probably would have made it Im impossible for me to pass him. But um, anyways, thank you, F&F. &F. Thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you to the crowd. Come by and say hi, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks. All right, Andy Forsberg, your winner. Second week in a row here at Placerville. And a great night here at Placerville Speedway for championship point race number seven, presented by the Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort and Foothill Thunder, presented by Toyota, capturing all the action here tonight. In the sprint car division, Andy Forsberg winning his second consecutive victory here in two weeks, his third victory overall in the season, and that's his second victory in the Jackson Rancheria Casino Championship Series. He stole it on the last lap for Placerville's Jimmy Truly, who had led the event since the green flag. Great race, put the fans on their feet in that one. In the limited late model division, Ryan McDaniel winning from the lead position, leading Green to Checker to win his third victory. Bradley Dillard picking up his third win as well in the Midget Lights and the Bay Cities Racing Association. And his first feature win ever came here at the Speedway last year, and it's been a good luck charm ever since. His third of the year here for that young man all the way from Oakdale. In the Pierce Stock Division, John Durrett returning to victory lane. He's out of Paula Pines, races the 0-1 D car, or as they like to call it, old. As a brother-in-law team, they switch driving duties, and tonight John Durrett leading green flag to checker. He traded the lead a couple times mid-race with Dan Brown Jr., who was in a Pierce Stock tonight. Brown suffering a flat tire, gave Durrett the breathing room he needed to get that long-awaited win as they've returned to pretty much a full-time racing effort. Thank you for watching Foothill Thunder presented by Toyota on Foothill 7 Television. Check out their website, foothill7tv.com. You can catch up with the past episodes of Foothill Thunder and all sorts of great programming as well. And for information on Placerville Speedway, visit placervillespeedway.com for all that information. The next race here at Placerville is Saturday night, June 21st, when they return after the El Dorado County Fair with Championship Point Racing. Placerville Speedway is main event time. Pull the belts tight and lay it on the line. Gotta love the fence, kids, stars in their eyes. Put her in the show and bring her back alive. It's Saturday night and we're dirt track racing. Every piece of sheet metal, every line and curve, every inch of polished chrome, every stitch, knob, and button, reforged, recrafted, redesigned. The 2014 Toyota Tundra. Visit your Toyota dealer today for a test drive and special offers. Toyota, let's go places.